fourth graders, this is Miss Lee, and today we're going to be learning about how to be respectful during our online Zoom learning. Okay, first point, when you are not speaking, you need to mute your microphone. That means on the left corner of your Zoom, when you are not talking or sharing, you need to make the red cross go aside on top of the microphone and that you are not talking. But when you are sharing, make sure you unmute yourself and that everyone can hear you. Number two, be an active listener and participant. That means when you are talking, you want everyone else to listen to you. But when someone else is talking, you want everyone else, including yourself, to be a good listener. And then when you are participating, when the teacher asks you any question during the circle of time or throughout the lesson, you probably want to be an active listener and also participate whenever you can. And make sure you raise your hand to participate, not unmute yourself before the teacher asks you to unmute yourself. Number three, use good manners. You know what that means. You are going to stay still. You're going to be an active listener and you are going to respect everyone in the way that you want to be respected. Number four, you are going to cooperate with others, meaning we're working together as a group. You're going to talk together and discuss about things. You're going to be a good listener during that time and also a good participant during that time as well. Also, the last one is to use your Zoom tools appropriately. That means even if you know how to use them, make sure you are not using them during the class time, but when the teacher asks you to do, do so, and you don't have to keep clicking on things or use a chat box every minute, but you're using them actually the way you're supposed to. Okay, let's try to go over a few more things together. In order to be respectful before online learning or Zoom starts, you have to be prepared. You want to be on time. You want to have a learning space that's safe for you, so no water right next to you where it can spill all over your work. You're also going to wear school-appropriate um, clothes. So just like me, you want to wear something that you're going to wear at school, not PJs. Maybe you'll have a PJ day. That might be an appropriate one, but if you, you want to stick to wearing that school dress code. We already did our online learning one, so now we're going to go over independent learning time. During your independent learning time, when you're on Canvas by yourself, not with a teacher, you want to do your personal best in any activity. That is also being respectful to yourself and also to your teacher. You're also going to follow directions. Read the directions, read the question, and make sure you're thinking before you type in or click on anything. And the last one is to be respectful to your learning supplies and devices. You got a few things from your teacher or from the school in your tote bag that had things that the school provided you. You want to make sure you're using them respectfully. You don't want to bend things or rip things. You get to keep this for a year, but sometimes you are gonna keep that for a year, but if you destroy it in the first few weeks, you're not going to get anything more. So make sure you are keeping those safe. And if you are using school technologies, make sure you are using those safely and keeping them charged. Even in your personal computers or any devices, make sure you are charged or you can charge before the night or charge throughout the day so you don't get logged out just because your charger is off. So you're going to use them with care and that's how to be a respectful student during our virtual learning. I bet all my fourth graders can do this really well. And I hope you have a great year with your teachers. And if I don't get to see you, see you maybe next time. Bye.